Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at viewport displays. This is the way that Rhino represents information to you. So I'm going to just quickly double click on this perspective view and for everything to make sense I'm going to draw some geometry for you. So don't worry too much about this but I'm going to go and put my mouse over this blue cube here and I'll have a little yellow text box come up saying box corner to corner comma height. I'm going to click on that and then I'm just going to click, click and click and I'll get something that looks like a box. So if you use my right click in the perspective view, I'll orbit around it. Great. So what Rhino has set to default is the wireframe view. This is very, very computationally efficient. If you have a big model that's gigabytes and gigabytes and gigabytes, it's far easier for Rhino to draw the thing to you like this. It doesn't have to worry about shading faces and colors and all these things. So it's very, very good at dealing with large files and complex things. So if you're having problems seeing things, that's what wireframe is for. But you could picture that having everything look as if it's completely and utterly transparent and a ghost may be problematic for actually working through some complex 3D form that is workable within a file. So if you notice at where it says perspective, which should currently be blue, because that's the viewport that is selected, if I hit this arrow here, I'll have restore, wireframe, shaded, rendered, ghosted, x-ray, technical, artistic, and pen. So wireframe all the way to pen are viewport displays. So wireframe is the one that I've just explained and the next one on the list is called shaded. What shaded is, is it shades the faces based on the camera for you. So you'll notice as I'm going around the cube actually looks like a general cube. I'm sorry technically it's a rectangular prism but cube will be fine for today. So you'll notice that it has these black thick lines around the edges. So it's very, very clear where the edges are. If I click back on the arrow and go to rendered, you'll notice that not only do I get a color difference, so if I go back to shaded, you'll notice that this, this, and this are different colors to the rendered view, but I also lose these lines. Rendered view is used for rendering, which we're not going to get into in this video series. But generally this view is very computationally intense from the position of the computer. It, because it's shading the faces and it's trying to shade the faces in a very accurate way, which it's not doing at the moment because we don't have a proper renderer working in this file, it will slow the file down immensely. So you should never actually use the rendered view because it will make working hard. The only time you will ever use it is when you're working on a rendered image. The next view along is very, very useful, and this is the view I highly recommend, which is called Ghosted. So I have a very good understanding of what's in front and what's behind through the ghost effect. I can scroll in and I can be inside the object. Everything's great. This is a really, really useful view. So Shaded is very, very useful if you're working... In in, say a urban planning perspective and you're looking at a whole series of buildings and you only really want to be on the outside but if you're modeling a piece of architecture and you might want to go from the inside to the outside this is what it looks like on the inside this is what it looks like on the outside ghosted is very very useful for that x-ray on the other hand is like ghosted but instead of the lines here having a fade to them they're as strong as the front lines. So all in all, it's a pretty bad version of Ghosted. These three here, Technical, Artistic and Pen, should never be used. Technical, for example, creates a sort of faux drawing with the lines at the back dashed in and the lines that you can actually see drawn as solid straight lines. Seeing that we're actually going to teach you how to do proper drawings in 11214, you should never use this. There's no reasonable reason why you would ever have this on. Artistic, the same issue. So it creates a nice uh, fake drawing with a weird paper texture. We're going to teach you how to actually draw. So this should never be on. And pen does the exact same thing with a different, slightly different crumpled paper. Again, you should never use this. So the whole point of this video is to point out, in the end, the three or four views you should be using. Wireframe is the default view and is good for drawing but 
a lot of the time you won't ever have that on. Shaded is good for working on the outside of models. Ghosted is good for working on the outside and the inside. And rendered, just keep in your pocket for later in your degree when you'll begin to deal with rendering. See you in the next video.